Safe Harbor. It's one of the top climbing destinations for Pennsylvanians and those surrounding it. It's located in the beautiful Conestoga, Pennsylvania and sits along the Susquehanna River. It's a man-made crag as rock was blasted away for an old rail line. And back in 1988, they deactivated it, and in 89, they ripped up the rails and left us with a convenient gravel walkway down a shopping aisle of potential sport roofs. As a matter of fact, in 1989, when the rails were taken up, that coincided with the time when sport climbing actually came to the United States. So we can thank Eric Hurst, Bob Perna, Mike McGill, and Denny Perini for initially developing the area and planting the seeds for other awesome lines to be put up. So behind me we have Hydroman, which is uh, rated 11A slash B, and um, it's a really, really cool climb. It's supposed to be the first bolted climb here at Safe Harbor, and it's my personal favorite climb here as well. So to talk about the climb itself, it starts off really smooth, and it's really cool how it has a variety of different types of features in it, from Gaston moves to mono pockets. And then you get to like a nice ledge or a sloper and something you can just kind of rest on. But so the first three quarters of the climb is pretty much a smooth face, but with these cool little features all throughout it. So you get a combination of, of cool movements. Then the grand finish is this kind of boulder fin arete that comes up and out straight at you from the climb that you have to kind of almost heel hook and kind of slap across the top of it to get to the anchors. And then the finale is where you get to sit on the top and I call it the throne and just kind of look out on the whole uh, scene here and uh, makes you feel like Hydro Man, the keeper of these parts. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
It was exhilarating. Great holds, positive holds, really technical. The top is a little uh, spicy, um, moving out onto the arete like that, but I loved it. I thought it was um, all in all a really great climb. This is fantastic. We will definitely be coming back, so. <laughs> so anyway, highly recommend Hydro Man. I have a fun time every time I get on it. So come out and give it a shot amongst many other great lines here. So Machismo is a 511C slash D, and it's my favorite because it's vertical. And most of what you're gonna see out here is it's all slab, so when you fall, it's gonna hurt. But Machismo, since it's vertical, your fall is completely safe. And uh, one warning about the climb is the first bolt got like cut or rusted or something, so it's not there anymore. So you probably wanna bring a stick clip or like a couple boulder pads or something. But anyways, to talk about the climb, it's pretty crimpy and it flows and it's not very technical. So right off the start, you have a nice ledge and a crimp and the movements are really fluid and you're gonna get to this like right crimp side pull. But right above that, you're gonna see there's this kind of vertical rail that you can side pull on. I don't really know why there's chalk on it because every time I've gotten to that, I even tried using it once and you can't really get to anything. So I just kind of bump up the left side for like two moves. Um, I don't think that ruins the climb though. And then you're gonna get to this big hole where you can clip off of, you can shake out on it and uh, it's just really nice and convenient. And the rest of the climb, it's just, it really flows from there. And I very much enjoy it. And I think everyone who tries it is gonna enjoy it. Whether you're a 511 climber or like 510 or 59 even, you can come try it because it's really straightforward climbing. That's why I like it. So come on out, put your own beta to it and enjoy it.
I like Sam Harbor because it's very safely protected, a lot of the bolts are close together, and I also like that it's sunny all the time so you can climb throughout the winter. Uh, Safe Harbor is the largest climbing area in the north, mid-northeast. Instead of having to go six hours north or west, it's the best area to go. I enjoy Safe Harbor because of the short approach and the wide range of difficulties in the climbs that are available. It's the first place I climbed and I've climbed here a lot of times and I have a lot of good memories. My favorite part about Safe Harbor is the super easy access. So some of my favorite things about climbing here at Safe Harbor are the beautiful views. So once you get up to the top of the rock, you can look back and see the river and the dam. And as you're taking in all the beauty of nature and nature calls, it's one of the few places that also has a portage on readily accessible for you. My favorite thing about Safe Harbor is that it's open again. You should definitely come out here. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching and thank you to all the climbers who helped contribute to the making of the video and thank you also to those who contributed information regarding the history of Safe Harbor. Also be sure to stay tuned for upcoming climbing series, Climbing Safe Harbor, where we'll be highlighting individual climbs. Tastes good. Scrumptious. Fantastic even. <laughs>